Hey everyone, so I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a demonstration of uh, running Stadia on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so what we have here is just a you know, regular stock Nintendo Switch pre-July um, 2018 um, that we've gone along and put in an SD card, um, done a bit of a, um, a bootloader exercise with the Lineage OS on it. Um, you can find more information on um, the XDA forums. Um, but what I'm going to show here in particular is the operation of the Stadia app. So I'm just going to fire that one up. And you can see it is a little bit delayed. Um, and here we have the Stadia app. So in order to get this to work, um, you do need to install uh, an exposed module. Um, basically at the moment the Stadia app is limited to the use of uh, Google Pixel devices. Um, and that exposed module will um, give you the ability to basically fake which device you're using. Um, so in this particular case I'm going to use the uh, Tomb Raider game and I'm just going to fire that one up. So it's fairly impressive uh, what Google's done here as far as um, device support. So you can see here that we have our two uh, touch modules, uh, sorry, our two Joy-Con controls. And surprisingly enough, these work straight out of the box um, with the app. So you can see here that I'm doing, you know, some controls here. You can see it's actually quite responsive. Um, and I can go along and resume my game. Um, in this particular case, I'm running Tomb Raider. And you can see here it is um, running in full motion um, over the, the regular Switch Wi-Fi network. Um, so I'll put up a, a demonstration onto, onto Medium just as far as um, how you can set this up for yourself. Um, but you can see this is incredibly playable. Thank you.